In this video, I have an unexpected, incredible thrift haul to share with you, as well as some decor for the October season and also a thrift flip. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so this is kind of um, an untraditional way that I usually do my videos and my thrift hauls. Usually I take you with me and show you what I'm seeing at the thrift stores and take you along and show you up close of all the items on the shelves. But today it was just kind of an unexpected thrifting day. Um, I planned on stopping into a couple places, but I did not expect to find as many things as I did. And it was just all happening so fast and so unexpectedly that I didn't even really get a chance to think about um, composing any type of a video for you or filming, but I still wanna show you what I got. So I think this will still be a fun video. I'll show you everything that I found, um, tell you where I found it, how much I paid for it, and then we're gonna get it cleaned up and then I'm going to try and find a place for it, try and style it in my home. So I have it all kind of sitting all around me. Um, I have my fire going here behind me. Um, by the way, I will have a link for this stove in the description down below. I absolutely love it. It's just an electric heater, but it has like realistic looking flames. It gives off heat and not to mention it's so cute. and It looks perfect in my faux fireplace around here. Um, the flames look really real. You can do different colors with them. It's nice and shallow, so it fits inside these fireplace surrounds really nice. So anyway, that'll be linked down below. It's by RW Flame, um, awesome company. And <laughs> so I'm just gonna start grabbing things, you guys, no particular order here, um, but I found at Salvation Army two rolls of this black burlap and they were $1.99 a piece. I did look up on Amazon how much burlap would cost because I didn't really want to get ripped off and it was like $13 or more for a roll of um, burlap so $2 is a good price for each of these and in the October um, season I like to add black into my decor. Um, I don't decorate for Halloween. I don't like to bring in anything into my house that could possibly be perceived as evil. So I like to just keep things simple, but still have fun with the season and change it out a little bit by making my home a little bit moodier, um, a little bit more um, Victorian, I guess. So I'm gonna add in some black decor here and there. Um, I have some other things to show you that I got for my October decor. I just like to stay away from spooky things. We don't celebrate Halloween, so not spooky, but still like to switch it up and keep it fun for the changing season and kind of to mimic what's going on outside. And then also at Salvation Army, I found all of these gorgeous wine glasses. They have the starburst pattern on the bottom, so that might mean that they're like an anchor hawking brand, but they're really beautiful, high quality glasses. I got two sets of six and I paid $6 a piece, so $12 altogether, for some new wine glasses. So I am happy to have those. They're, they're gonna go in my built-in cabinet right behind me here, and then when I host holidays and things, um, I will have them to pull out for everybody, and we'll all be able to have a matching wine glass. So, I'm trying to think what I wanna show you next here. Okay, my first stop was Goodwill today. And they had a bunch of wreaths and they had this adorable little wheat wreath. I absolutely love decorating with natural things like this for fall. I love wheat because it's just a creamy neutral color. So it goes with all of my decor. Um, you might have seen in one of my videos recently that I had some wheat stacks and stuff. So I just thought this would be perfect to put somewhere. I'm still decorating for fall, you guys, even though I'm gonna be moving on to Christmas here just next month. I'm so excited too. I've started looking at things because I'm doing red this year and I, I've never done red before. So I kind of need to get very creative with how I'm going to add red into my home for Christmas this year. But it's gonna be an exciting year of Christmas decor. If you guys love Christmas decor, definitely subscribe and stick around because my house is 
My house was built for Christmas, we'll just say that. Christmas looks very good on my house. So this was $5, really good price. I'm excited to hang that somewhere. This will be a nice staple to have every year. Okay, next thing. Now I have wheat on everything. Let me see if I can get that off. Okay, so artwork. Rarely do I leave a thrift store without some artwork and I'm always looking for it, always, always, always. And this piece um, I saw from across the room, it was at like a local thrift ch charity shop. It wasn't at like a big box one like Goodwill or Salvation Army. So their prices are actually thrift store prices, which is very refreshing and nice. They're only open a few hours a day, maybe like four hours, maybe only three days a week. So I don't get there too often, but every time I do, I am like very impressed and I find good things. So I need to make sure, make a point to go there more often. But how beautiful is this? It's in a watercolor, an original. There's um, the artist's signature on the bottom and he even dated it, 1948. But it's just these gorgeous, um, I think they're like woodpeckers maybe? But I liked it because for the October season, I'm adding in blacks. So I thought the blackbirds were beautiful and appropriate for that. I'm not sure about the frame. I know this light wood color is really in right now, but I don't really use it a whole lot. So I might spray paint it. I don't think it's anything too fancy. It doesn't feel like it's too fancy. So I might spray paint it. I might just spray paint it black and that way I can have a little extra black in my house. Easy peasy. And that was $5. All right, this is very heavy, <laughs> but uh, so also at that thrift store, they had this gorgeous oval mirror. It's wood, um, it's definitely older. It has like a metal back on it, which is interesting. Um, but I just thought that for, it was, by the way, this was $6, a $6 vintage mirror, um, awesome price. I don't love the silver. I don't really decorate with silver. It is really pretty, but I mean, how quick and easy it will be to just take some rub and buff and that will completely transform this mirror. So I'll have to figure out where I want to put it. And then, um, yeah, we'll see what we need to do to spruce it up a little bit to give it a little makeover, but it is a gorgeous mirror for $6. There's no way I was leaving there without a $6 mirror with a beautiful frame, so. I could not wait to transform this mirror and I also can't wait for you guys to see how amazing it turned out. I'm starting out with some rub and buff here and I'm using the ebony color and then also a copper color. I'm mixing those two together, but I'm doing a ratio of a little bit more of the copper to the ebony, probably twice as much copper as the ebony and um, once I finished this I realized I probably could have just gone with the copper and that would have looked still just as beautiful but I am using a brush to really work that rub and buff down into all of the details Now I will say that this did take quite a bit of product doing it this way, but I really wanted to use the rub and buff versus an acrylic paint or a spray paint because I really liked the finish that the rub and buff left. It was matte, but yet it still had a little bit of a shimmer to it. So I think it just added to the antiqued quality of the finish that I was going for for this mirror. I also think that this mirror probably had some type of a golden bronzy finish to begin with and it looks like somebody spray painted it a silver color. So I was kind of returning it back to its original beauty. And if you're new to using rub and buff, a tip is to try and not get it on any surface you don't want it on because it isn't oil based and it is a little bit hard to remove. So that's why I'm using this piece of paper here to kind of block it from getting too much of it onto the mirror itself. Here is a close up of what that first layer looked like. 
Um, as you can see, it is matte, but it still has a shimmer to it. So I think that's gonna be a beautiful base for our next step. Now you see me applying the final finishing touch, which is some gold leaf rub and buff. And I'm doing a dry brushing effect and just really gently um, wisping that all over the whole frame, trying to only hit the high points of the design on the frame. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to take my finger and use a little bit of that same gold leaf rub and buff and just press that and buff it onto the higher details to really make them pop. still going we got more to see um so not only did i have good luck at the thrift stores today i also had really good luck at my local antique store right down the road from me i haven't been in there in a while they had a bunch of new stuff um i really didn't have a lot of time to look so i wish i would have spent more time in there but it doesn't matter because literally i walked into the store and looked up to my right and this was hanging on the wall. And how absolutely gorgeous is this? Um, I love it so much. And it was only $10. I thought that was a really great price for something like this because I have one similar to it. It's wire and I paid $28 for it. So when I saw the $10 price tag, it went in my cart and that was, that was all she wrote. So. It has just beautiful detailing. Um, it has the metal around the outside, the gorgeous like wicker wood. It even has some detailing of the metal going through the top. So I believe these are used as like a, like a pastry or like a cookie cloche kind of. You would put them over top of something to keep the bugs out, to keep flies out and stuff. I just think they're beautiful. I love decorating with these. I'm gonna put this in my dining room love that so much and it was such a great price all right we're back to Salvation Army with this little thing here it's kind of hard to see but this is the box it's definitely vintage not sure what this would date back to it says made in the USA so these are just little Bible quotes I'm trying to see if there is a date on here anywhere I don't see it I'm sure if I dug there would be but anyway it's just cute little scriptures little tiny flash card type things and I thought these were precious and useful actually so um, I think this will be pretty displayed in a bowl or in like a little jar like a glass jar clear I mean they're beautiful they're just simple and beautiful and you know they're good for the soul so 99 cents I paid for these little scripture flash cards. All right. I got a freebie today too, you guys, at that local charity shop where I got the painting and the mirror. I got a free vintage book. Look at this thing. It is enormous. They just had it in the free pile. So you guys, this is the thrift store that I got that I think it's a picket fence stoneware bowl with the dish underneath it that was in the free pile. So I'm telling you, this might be my new favorite thrift store. Um, but this is just, it's just an encyclopedia. It's actually a baseball encyclopedia. So the contents really not anything that I'm super interested in, but for a nice thick 
book like this. Let me see if I can find the copyright. I'm sure it's not incredibly old. It says printed in the United States, 1969. So definitely it's vintage, but the colors are fantastic. Stuff like this to use as a riser are just, it's just phenomenal or even just displayed like that. Just a nice thick book. Always looking for things like that. So for free, yes. I've noticed too lately at the thrift store that the vintage books, they have priced them way up. I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but I used to find tons of vintage books at the thrift stores and now they want like $8 a piece for them where they used to be 75 cents. So when I find free ones now, I'm definitely grabbing them. Um, okay, let me show you. I might change the angle of my camera here so I can show you the last few things that I got. All right, guys, can you see? <laughs> We have a mirror, it's beveled. It's definitely vintage, it's older. Um, you can tell by the back. Obviously you can see there's no ornate frame or anything on it, but this was only $5. And I'm not passing up a mirror for $5, especially a beveled vintage, vintage mirror. I just think this will be pretty just to set behind something um, that you need to add some reflection to. Like I have some window panes, um, things like that even on top of a table in the middle of your dining room table, this could go. So $5, absolutely, that's gonna come home with me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Should I save the best for last? <laughs> I also went to Hobby Lobby, usually on my little outings. Um, I try, I, I do stuff at Hobby Lobby a lot. And I got this gorgeous little puff pillow this just looks so vintage to me and I love, I just love these tufted round pillows and this was 50% off. I never buy things from Hobby Lobby unless they're half off. So $15 for this cute little puff pillow. I have decided though that I'm not going to be buying any more like normal size pillows. I'm just gonna buy covers from now on because I have plenty of regular pillows. So. I love this color, this olive green. It's so beautiful. I originally thought that I would put it in my dining room, but now that I have it home, I kind of want to get one more and put it on my couches. So we'll see. I just love that color so much. And also at Hobby Lobby, they had a phenomenal sale on some of their pillow covers. A ton of them were on sale. So go check Hobby Lobby for their pillowcases next time you go because I got four of these cases, 18 by 18, $3.74 a piece for these gorgeous covers. I just, I love um, anything that looks like a vintage rug or that has that like rug kind of material. I just think they look more expensive and I'm gonna throw some black in my living room. So I thought that this would be a fun way to pop in some black. I actually had my eye on some black and white ones on Amazon that were like a floral pattern, um, but they only had two and I wanted four and they were way more expensive. So this will be a super fun way to throw in some black. It'll be easy to store. And this little Shaw here, never been used before. It still has the original tag on it. This was from Goodwill today and they charged me $3. So I think this will be really sweet, just draped over a chair or I can hang it by my entryway. And actually I'm going to use this for sure when we go for walks and stuff. Um, I love things like this just to throw on, super easy. So they actually had a few more of these. Now I'm kind of thinking, Maybe I should go back and get a, get another one. <laughs> All right, also at Hobby Lobby, I got some more hydrangeas. I just love faux hydrangeas um, because they look good. They just look good in everything. I don't know, it's just such a simple, fluffy, just, I don't know, they just fill up vases really well. So I got four of these. I thought these looked very realistic. They're perfect for fall. They're just that perfect aged hydrangea look. And they were half off, so I thought I needed some more of those and they were almost out, so I thought I better grab some. I, like I said, I really need to start focusing on getting some Christmas decor, but 
it's so hard to put your mind of, to a, a holiday when it still feels so far away, even though it's just next month that I have to start decorating. I know some of you guys had mentioned um, about, you know, rushing things. Um, and I totally agree with you on that. I am decorating for Thanksgiving. I'm not going to pass up Thanksgiving. Um, but as an influencer, I guess, um, I kind of have to start early and so that I can be an inspiration to you guys. And if I'm working with some brands to show you some brands that I love, um, that way you guys have a chance to actually see what things look like before you buy them and you can purchase them and still have them in time for your holiday decorating. So that's why us YouTubers and Instagrammers decorate so early. Um, but really the season just seems, the holidays go by so fast that I like to really take as much time as I can to enjoy them thoroughly. And I'm the type of person that I don't just decorate one time. I continue to tweak and add and you know, until it looks completely different from the first day I decorated till it's time to take it down. It doesn't even look the same anymore. But anyway, all right, I have one more thing to show you guys and it's pretty cool. I have this, um, that wreath is like just stuck in my clothes and everything. So it's all over the floor. Maybe that was a bad purchase. One more thing to show you, very unexpected. I saw a yard sale. I only had $2 on me. So I was like, well, what really am I going to find for $2? Probably not much, but sometimes yard sales can surprise you. You can find some really good things at yard sales for $2. But this was in like a nice neighborhood of our town. So anyway, I stopped by and I found, I think I need to move you guys a little bit again. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys like this because I want you to see this big bin full of salvaged rosettes and trim pieces and things from a hundred plus year old building that was, I think, renovated, the guy said, like a school or something. I have not even counted how many are in here, but I paid $15 for this whole box full of rosettes and other salvaged trim pieces, solid oak, I mean, aged uh, stain. Actually, they go in my house, perfect, if I wanted to add some rosettes on my doors. <laughs> um, but I have paid easily $10 a piece for these at antique shows so they're just fun to decorate with you can just i don't know i have one sitting up on the top of my hutch right now you can use them as cloche bases um you could even like well i wouldn't recommend drilling a hole in them but i was gonna say for a candle holder but just to set them up and display them they're just i don't know they're just they're just neat and pretty and for $15 for that whole box, if I decide to resell some, I think that will definitely be worth the investment. So there we go. That's my big unexpected. Here's the behind the scenes look. <laughs> my big unexpected thrift haul from today. Okay, so what did you guys think of the things that I found today? What was your favorite thing that I found? Let me know down in the comments. What are you most surprised about? And also give us some ideas if you have some clever ways to use some of the things that I found, like the rosettes.